to take your blood pressure reading at home, you will need to get a home blood pressure monitor. There is a wide range of home blood pressure monitors available, but it's important to be sure that the blood pressure monitor you choose is accurate and the right one for you. Ask your doctor. If your doctor asks you to measure your blood pressure at home to wear an ambulatory blood pressure monitor in order to diagnose hypertension, they will provide a monitor that you can borrow for a set of period of time. The doctor's in. When taking someone's blood pressure, make sure the patient's arm is rest on the table. Make sure they feel comfortable and relaxed. When taking their blood pressure, make sure they're not clenching their fist because that can give you inaccurate readings. I'm already relaxed. Not you! Be relaxed, but don't be anxious or stressed. This is a cough, and this true here you see is connected to the monitor where I'll be reading the patient's blood pressure reading. So the cough should go on the patient's upper arm, like this. Make sure this arrow is pointing down to the book. Of course. And now you gotta tighten it onto the patient's arm. Also make sure um, your fingers, two fingers actually, are fitted underneath the cut to make sure the cut isn't too tight on the patient's arm. Auntie, you forgot. The two should be on the line of the yard, like this. Oh, of course. When taking your blood pressure, don't talk and just relax. Press the button on the monitor to start it. No, me! <laughs> now it's doing the thing of counting. Mm -hmm. It may be tight, but that's normal. Of course it is. Of course it is. After pressing the start button, the cuff will inflate, but it will feel uncomfortable because it will tighten your arm. But after that, it will deflate, and then you'll be fine, and it will be done. because we have to protect our patient's identity. Right, Mommy? What are the known causes of high blood pressure? High blood pressure is often related to unhealthy lifestyle habits, such as smoking, drinking too much alcohol, being overweight, and not exercising. What is systolic and diastolic blood pressure? For example, if your blood pressure is 140 over 90, it means you have a systolic pressure of 140 and a diastolic pressure is 90. Who's at risk of high blood pressure? Factors that can raise your risk of developing high blood pressure include age, a family history of high blood pressure, a high amount of high amount of salt in your food, lack of exercise, being overweight, regularly drinking large amounts of alcohol, smoking, long-term sleep deprivation. What is low blood pressure? Low blood pressure is less common. Some medicines can cause low blood pressure as a side effect. It can also be caused by a number of underlying conditions including heart failure, until next time, thank you for watching Ambulance TV. Stay happy, stay healthy, and stay beautiful.